Welcome. And I'm Kevin Graham. And this is the best show on the internet. Yeah, we're back. We're back again, folks. We're back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's keep that. Let's keep that train rolling. Yeah. That's, that's right. Uh, that's right. Another week. It feels like yeah. it's been a month since we've talked. Man, I don't even know. It's the the year is doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing it again. What it always does, right? We went through this last year, mm -hmm. okay, where everything just got off the rails immediately, as it does, you know? as it does, and as it do these days. And then it was like it's November. <laughs> Why is it already Summer's November? Over. Summer's over, folks. I don't know. If you know I mean, you. June is tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know if you people understand that. Like, we, the, the, the time mm -hmm. is, is 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 rolling, and there's nothing we can do about it. We're we're just adherent to all things with time, and and where does it go, and what does it do? And you sleep half it away. So like you sleep. Well, I mean, if you're lucky, you sleep half of I mean, it that's away. I mean, half the time you're gone, but you don't know you're, where. You're like some of us, you know, you don't sleep all that much. I mean, I sleep maybe five hours a night. That's like, that's my max. That's, that's not enough. Well, right. Well, I mean, that's what we're talking about. No, I think I slept through my alarm this morning. I've been doing that more recently, but I also think my alarm hasn't been going off as well. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was a conspiracy, too, mm. like, because I, I distinctly remember last night before I laid my head down. I was like, you know what I need to do? I need to reset my alarm because I worked from home the last two days. Sure. And I was like, I don't need to get up at six o'clock. Nope. I can get up a little bit later. Totally. Take it ease on into my office. That's right. And then last night, I was I told myself, make sure you reset your alarm mm. because you're going to wake up late if you don't. And then I and then I I reset my alarm. OK, put my phone down I went right. to sleep woke right up at like three o'clock mm -hmm. and had to go get a lozenge and, and and some cough medicine. And then I lost my way back to the room because it was dark and I was really tired and I was sure, afraid, right. of, yeah. afraid of knocking things over. So, like, I'm very carefully like. Be, very gingerly, you're being light. I don't know where I am in my own house. Yeah. There were lights. I was following the lights. Turns out that there was were lights I shouldn't have been following, um, and I got lost. Okay, I got lost in my own house in the middle of the night. I mean, it you happens. have a bigger house than you need. Let's be honest. This is not untrue, but you know, we need it because we have all this stuff now. And then I went to bed again. It was like three thirty. I was like, okay. I still got time to get like a halfway decent night of sleep. Right. I go to bed. I wake up. And I'm like, ooh, my alarm hasn't gone off. That's a good thing. Right. That means I still got time for sleep. Totally. And then I kind of look over and I can see like through the curtains. I was mm. like, there is way too much light showing. Yep. And apparently, yep. like I had slept an hour past my alarm. Oh, no. I was like, I don't remember it going off. And you're a man has to go into an office. I mean, I, was, I mean, I was like, I, I, like I wasn't late. I just make mm. myself early, you know. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you gotta, you know. Sometimes you gotta be a little early, you know, because you got true. things to do, you know. Can't all right, Blake, all night, right? Uh, Blakely says uh, they were just having a chat with our son today because he says everything takes forever. You know, when you're little, and th this, yeah, folks, this is what I figured out as an adult and, and as, as a person who's like, I have kids, so like, yeah. you see things from a different perspective. The wife said this, and it's one of the smartest things she's ever said. She says, everything takes forever when you're, when you're a little kid because your concept of time is so short. Yeah. You've only been here, like, like our son's only been here for seven years. That's all he yeah. knows, right? It's like a year to him. That's one-seventh of his life. Yeah. Just wait till he turns 30. <laughs> I mean, for a rude awakening, that kid. Aren't we all? I'm so... Young. So yeah, it's it's. I feel like so many things have happened yeah. since since the last time we've talked, mm -hmm. and that was just last week. It was last week. I it, it is good that we still do this show mm -hmm. because I feel like this show helps keep me grounded. Like 
everybody needs, you know, yeah. something that's 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 a dedicated time, mm-hmm. something to keep a schedule. Like if you don't have like join a book club, you know, learn to knit something, something mm-hmm. where you can be like this time every day, every week, mm-hmm. I go do this thing. I go to this yeah. club, I go do this, so you know what day it is. Yeah. More than anything. Yeah. Like I'm this close to getting the days of the week pill thing uh, for, for my medications. Oh, brother, I've already got one. Oh, OK. All yeah. right. It, it's very helpful. Use it. OK. Yeah. It's kind of like it's kind of like you do your meal prep on Sundays. You do your pill prep. Mm. You know, it's like these are for Sunday night. These are for Monday morning. And then you kind of like section everything off. And then you also know what day it is. Right. And then you also know when you may have fucked up <laughs> because. It's Friday, but why is Thursday night still sitting in there? Mm. Mm. There's been a couple times where I'm like, did I take my medicine this morning? It is easy. Like, that mm. is so weird to me that something like that is so easy to do. So easy. And I think I think it, it's part of, like, you're a creature of habit. Right. So you know, like, okay, me, I get up, I take my pills every morning, and then, you know, I go out about my day. But then, like, I have that moment of, like, did I take them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you start to question everything. Yeah. And then, and then also like you're like, oh, yeah, of course, like grandpa OD'd. Like, I can't fucking remember like well, what I've taken on. already, <laughs> you know, and and he, you know, he has Alzheimer's. So like, how is he fucking supposed to remember that kind of thing? Moral of the story is get a medication. Yeah. Counter for your week. Totally. They're yeah. like they're at the dollar store. They're like three dollars. twenty five store. Sorry, dollar twenty five store is uh, in inflation. Biden's America. Anyways, what are we doing tonight? So we are here again, <laughs> as we always are. Um, I don't know if you know this. We're a wrestling podcast now. We're a wrestling show now. How We're, did this happen? Apparently, people like it. Like apparently, apparently, uh, uh, wrestling's hotter than it's ever been. And wrestling's back, baby. We just happen to be talking about it and mm-hmm. it seems to be working. So we're going to stick. We're going to, you know, we ain't, we ain't. Okay. We're not going to pull. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use a reference and blow your mind. Okay. Okay. We're not going to pull a new England Patriots and say, we don't need Tom Brady no more. What is, what is that noise? What noise? Is it noise? Why is it noise? What? What? I, we can't hear you. It, it might it might be on your end. Oh my god! I think it was. <laughs> it was just so, wait. I'm sorry. You're I'm not, not even the having, producer of the show I'm anymore. Not having, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. You, <laughs> you don't started even the talking and you started doing a bit, and the moment you started doing a bit, sound started happening in my cans, and I'm like, "Where is this noise coming from?" It turns out that there was a browser <laughs> that was open that had so- I don't know what the sound was. It wasn't a sound playing browser. I, it wasn't music. It, it was just I just had a website open. It yeah, website had open for three minutes. But you started talking about Tom Brady. God damn you. And it busted. started to sound like a football game was starting. Oh, off. like the goat. Like the goat yeah. was right there. Right on. Right, go back. I, get to, I need to just, just take it. Take it over. Just go. What were you saying? I was gonna say we're not gonna pull we're not gonna pull the New England Patriots and get rid of Tom Brady, you know, right when you know things are starting to look down. Like, no, we're gonna run, we're gonna run with what works. All right. Yeah. So if you turned in to any one of our shorts, or if you watched last week's episode where we reviewed WrestleMania both from in person and from the couch, boy, are you in luck? Yeah. Uh, because because right now, right here tonight, we are sticking with uh, the formula that works. We are gonna keep talking the pro wrestling. Wrestling uh, for all you wrestling fans out there. For all you mark. Did anybody have anything to say about my <laughs> comments last week? Uh, yes. Uh, I haven't checked. I haven't checked TikTok. Okay. Uh, so we've gotten a lot of. Co- First off, for all you people that watch the short. Okay, listen. I said uh, you fucking people from New England with love. Okay. Like from New England or, or, or from England, from England, from, from the UK, from the UK. I said UK fucks. And I and and many people in the comments uh, said, you know, uh, fuck here from UK. I agree with you. Thank you. And it's like with love, with love. But you, sir, you've. 
I love my favorite thing is you went on and you had your moment about your CM Punk rant. Okay. Yeah. And the majority of the comments on your your retort mm -hmm. were, yeah, of course that was going to happen. Which were the I've, same I've people. Oh, dude, you're you're in for a treat. But anyway, we have got to talk about some things that have been happening. Mm -hmm. um, most of all, one of the things that we talked about last week that we got uh, a lot of praise for our praise was we talked about the production, the upgrade in the production. Bro. And everybody seems to be on board with this upgrade in production. The, I want to talk about the spot they did on Monday. Mm, okay. And I, don't, and I don't know if you saw this. I did not. I, I heard about it. I didn't see it yet. Okay. They did a spot. And then, like, I don't know what was the lead into that because I only saw like the two minute or three minute clip or whatever where Jey Uso is walking through the crowd to like the concession stands, mm. basically. Like, they have him walking through and it's a long shot. It's a one I fucking love a good oneer. Have I ever talked to you about how much I love a good oneer? You, we, we've we've had discussions. Oneers you know, are one before. of when done right. When done right, oneers. Yeah, and like honestly, this was a proper oneer. A proper oneer. Okay. My, he's taking it off, folks. My yeah. hat is off to those to those folks because hmm. it was a it, it was a proper oneer. They showed Jey Uso coming from the crowd. Through like you know the concession area, he walks down. He pushes some fan that's trying to get in his way, which was fucking phenomenal. He's like, I gotta um, hit my cues, kid. He's like, bro, we're on TV. Get out of my way. You don't deserve mm -hmm. a picture. Gets him out of the way. Pro move. Mm -hmm. Goes through these doors. Sami Zayn standing there, just looking at the sky. They do this little like back and forth. You know, Zam Sami Zayn like rah rah. Saw my first show here. Yada yada yada. Great stuff. And he was like, all right, dap, we're going to go in for the match. And then the camera just follows him back oh, through. So it like, followed, him, followed him out and then followed him it in? It followed Jey Uso from the crowd to where Sami Zayn was. And then one take from Z followed Sami Zayn back through where Jey Uso just came from into the crowd. I'm like, this is great. So this is tremendous. I Here's the thing. I, I can almost guarantee you. Those people, those 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 fucking wonderful people in WWE production mm -hmm. have been told to do the lamest bullshit for so long. Yeah. And finally, they're like, hey, guys, let's let's make this interesting. And they're making mm -hmm. cinema oh like they are fucking putting all them college degrees to work. <laughs> I will say this. The term cinema. Has been overused a lot. Mm -hmm. with regard to pro wrestling lately like a lot however like i do understand what the thought there is though because we are seeing a very different presentation oh, which yeah. i think is great and i think Wonderful. it's very well needed because if i had to take one more wrestling show where there's 15 camera changes on a single move, mm -hmm. I I would no longer be a wrestling man. Like it is, it was so jarring and so annoying mm -hmm. because it felt like watching it on TV, I couldn't watch the product, which is weird because it's a TV show. They've always produced it as a TV show. Right. It's like with football, yeah, you want to get the best angles, but you still want to maintain that wide shot so you can see the mm -hmm. play. If I'm watching wrestling, I want the same thing. Because if I'm in the crowd watching it, I can see everything that's happening from one angle. Mm -hmm. Where in wrestling, when I'm watching that on TV, I want to be able to see the wide shot to actually see the move happen. See what's happening. And hey, yeah. if they screw up, okay. Well, well that's, that's the thing. And I think that's... Bloopers that's and Sports that's where everything went wrong. Yeah, I think what what ended up happening was when pro wrestling went to HD. You know, back yeah. in back in the two thousands, right? Mm -hmm. Kevin Dunn decided it, it really showed his color. It really showed that, like, instead of like being Jimi Hendrix, yeah, he's like the guitar player for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like, okay. if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna listen to a solo from a guitar player from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you're getting three notes. Okay. 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 
in and, comparison to right, and that's the th and they're safe, and that's great, yeah, and they sound yeah. good, and it's passable, or whatever, but it's safe. Mm -hmm. He ain't taking no chances. No, he ain't taking the chances that a move's gonna be missed, that there's gonna be light, that something's gonna come through, that somebody's gonna mouth something in HD. Yep. We're at the point now where it's like, hey guys, this is our art. Mm -hmm. Let's let's go make some art. Yeah, and it's and it's wonderful. It's fantastic. Yeah, and like so much of it has felt like fly on the wall, mm. which is something that I really like and something that I really love about what they're doing now because it's it's everything seems more fluid mm -hmm. with the presentation. Like you're in, and yeah, like okay, some of the you could say some of the shots are now being overused just because like every time there's a shot of somebody walking through the backstage area out to the ring. Everybody's like, Oh my God, this is great. And it's like, no, yeah, it is great. But like, maybe let's like tone it down just a little Make bit. It special. You know? Keep it special. Yeah, Because like, listen, listen, there's more coming and we don't want to come too early for everything. Right. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> play with your partner. But, for yeah. But yeah. Play with your partner for a little bit. Right. Gosh, stop being so fucking needy. Yeah, don't be rushing. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, I love the fly in the wall aspect. I think mm -hmm. that that is a great direction that they're going in. I love the single shots between scenes because I feel like that's something weirdly enough that we needed, but didn't know that we needed mm. because everything pr previously has just felt like here's the segment. Here's the match. Here's the follow-up segment. Here's the match. Here's right. the backstage interview. Here's the match. Where now everything again, it feels fluid. It mm. feels real. It feels like we're right there with everything that's going on, and it's like a and like there's a lot of movies that utilize this technique as well. Mm. And I think they're like you look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, you're there in the room as all this shit is going down. Right, like that's right. how they shot the movie, and that's what made it so intriguing. And I think that they're really looking to focus more on that style. So again, you're putting people in the room that are hundreds and thousands of miles away. Mm. And I think what they're doing now, too, with wanting to go to like a more jam-packed arena look, you're going to get more butts in the seats. You're going to get more people coming out to your shows and not need to do these big elaborate set pieces and everything. Like, I think they even mm. said that like they're toning down their house show sets or like they're toning down like Which, a lot brother, of their I travel. Mean we fucking grew up with the goddamn war memorial where the, where you had the blue curtain it was a blue and that curtain, was it. and you were happy and you it. were thrilled yeah because at the end of the, the day like the one two three kid take on bob backland for fuck's sake sure um and yeah like when they were doing like the custom entry ways for like house shows and stuff like it was cool because you got to go to a show mm. and feel like it was something bigger than just a house show because i feel like house shows got a really bad name for a, oh for like well a yeah yeah i mean it was for a long time it's like you're paying money for nothing essentially you're paying money for nothing or you're paying money to see them do a test run right which right. a lot of times that's what it was and like yeah. i totally get it like you got to see what works for the crowd you know it's totally. like a comedian going out and doing the same set you know 50 times in a week got to test out the stuff got to see how it works but yeah i think overall production has been great I'm mm -hmm. happy where it's going. It's tremendous to see all the new angles and the way that they're shooting everything. So I'm excited. But can I talk about something real quick that I'm not Ooh. excited about? Please. They unveiled, they revealed a new set of title belts this past Monday. Mm, now okay this is interesting because because the feedback so far on the new tag team titles has been uh um very positive who who the fuck said that <laughs> i don't know why this decision is being made as far as like for the for the new belts for, for the they have not had a good title belt in 10 years. Oh, easy. I mean, what, like, hold on. I don't, what, what was the last good title belt in your opinion? That was new within the last 10 to 15 years. Yeah. 
honestly, I would say the stuff that they're doing in NXT. Mm, okay. Okay. Are probably the best that the WWE is doing right now. Mm. Um, I don't mind the current he- world universal heavyweight championship belt, like, like the belt that Cody has, the belt that the they the have. Yeah, the one the look. Like, I don't mind that. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Fine. And and sense. I think when they and I think when they made the one that Cody has black and gold, mm-hmm. I think that was a good upgrade. I did not like the belt when it first debuted. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was heinous. It has. I've grown to accept it. Okay. That's where I'm at right now. Um, the world heavyweight title that Damian Priest has. You've gone on record. I've gone on record in saying that that is one of the ugliest title belts that I've ever laid out right. upon. Yeah. Because to me, it's very reminiscent of the big gold belt. Right. Which to me, and I will stand by this, I will die on this hill, is one of the ugliest world titles. It's one of the ugliest title belts in wrestling. That's so the, wild. The big gold. Um, I hate the U.S. title as it is right now. Okay, but I will say the last U.S. title or at least the last one that I remember that that was the kind one of with the, the U.S. flag, the one with the U.S. flag that was kind of like 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 shaped like home plate, essentially. Yeah. Like, I like that title. I thought that was a nice title. I didn't like that title. I like it now in comparison to the current U.S. <laughs> title. Um, the Intercontinental title. I, I I don't get that. Is I don't understand that one at all. I don't just go back. Just go back to the original. Just go back to the original. I mean, yeah. go go back to the one that Pat Patterson had. Yeah, for Christ's sakes. Like, 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 do something different. Um, the women's world title, same thing. Ugly. Um, I hated the Spartan tag title belts. Well, that's what they're they're essentially replacing, right? Is yeah, that belt. that is what they're replacing, right? And they the, 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 the it's basically just the it's basically just the big gold belt in round formation. <laughs> It is ugly. Those are the ugliest belts. Also, round titles are ugly. Don't make round titles. Give them some flair. Give them some shape. Mm. Throw some fucking wings on it. Throw some spikes on it. I don't care. Sure. <clears throat> I like I saw I saw a post on t- on on Twitter the other night. And I was like, "Oh, this is some like legacy title belt that they're now selling on WWE sure. shop like all these other dumbass title belts that they're not right. selling that are all just gimmicks I'm like okay and then i saw the clip from raw and i'm like you gotta be <laughs> he's why do they keep doing this why do they keep making ugly belts blakely the butterfly divas championship title is better <laughs> than these tag titles in compa- in all honesty after the past few that they've put out, yeah, the Divas one ain't that bad. Divas one ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. Like it it's kind of cool. Hey, it's kind of cool in retrospect. Hey, it, it it sells toys and it's got personality. Okay. What do you? I. It's just. Oh my gosh. It's so. I I do like that they're dropping the Raw tag team titles and the SmackDown tag team, and they're yeah. making them the world. And that makes sense. That way, you know, with this fucking draft coming up, yeah. which we got to talk about the draft. But okay. like with the fucking draft coming up, at least people don't got to hand over the other fucking belt because they're switching shows. Yeah. Yeah. Like the stupidest thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think you'll end up getting. Obviously, I, I think what you're going to end up getting is Cody on Raw. Mm-hmm. Damien on SmackDown. Yeah, for sure. Um, you'll probably end up keeping Austin Theory and Grayson Waller on SmackDown. You'll keep um, R-Truth and Miz on Raw. Mm-hmm. Like, Rhea's hurt, apparently. Oh, yeah, which okay. unfortunately happened during that fucking awesome one shot uh, that we were just fucking praising the goddamn production crew for. I mean, is she hurt, though? Mmm... <laughs> I agree with you. You okay? I agree with okay. you. Okay. 
Hold up. Hold up. That let's finish let's finish this draft conversation first mm. before we go spiraling down a rabbit hole. Sure. Um Bailey, I think goes to Raw. Mm-hmm. You have the world, the women's world title go to no i don't know because i feel like they want to keep the same title it themes. Makes, at least for a little while at, at least, least for a little for while a yeah yeah so i can even see cody staying on smackdown honestly to pop the ratings i mean that's that's Maybe. where they're trying to yeah i mean they care more about fox than they do about usa so yeah and like honestly i always felt like smackdown had the better title picture most times mm-hmm. so you yeah. know whatever um but yeah i think you're gonna get a big shake up I think you're gonna get the IC title to SmackDown. I think you're gonna get um, US title to Raw. Okay. Um, you're gonna get some call ups from NXT. I think Carmelo Hayes is on his way up. Um, Braun Breaker obviously just came up. Yeah, he'll, he'll uh, you might up. get a few more people making their way up. Um, beyond that, I don't know that it necessarily is going to make a difference how people land. I think I think you're going to get a lot of teams that are going to start to get broken up. As they do during these. This as game. they do. Unless they're drafting teams as a whole, I don't see them keeping, like, the Judgment Day together. Mm-hmm. I don't see them keeping um, whatever, like, uh, the fucking... Santos Escobar's group together. Right. Right. Um, Which makes I, I, sense because this is like the perfect opportunity. Like f- folks, like for teams to split up, they don't have to turn on each other. They don't like, like it just doesn't, it doesn't always have to be that way. Like this is yeah. a perfect way to split a team up that where it's time to split them up. Mm-hmm. And Hey, like you can do the thing. We're like halfway down the road. We're like, Oh shit. All three members of the shield are in the ring together. Yeah, and they're doing they're doing the fist bump thing and, uh, and pop the crowd kind of thing. Like, yeah. you're gonna see that with like fucking Dom and somebody else with the Judgment Day, and and everyone's mm-hmm. gonna get in the ring and be like, oh, it's fucking, yeah. it's easy I pop. Think, I think they will turn on each other though. Oh, do. Um, like Alpha Academy is getting broken up, mm. especially after Gable turning heel. Yep. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I think right now, though, this is going to be one of the more intriguing drafts because I feel like it is really going to set the tone for this new era because, again, I feel like everybody's been kind of like flailing around on different shows, but like they're mainly on one show. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think this is really going to help reset things. Okay. And even though like I'm not much of a fan of like the draft and the brand split, um. I think this is going to add some flavor to everything that's going on. I think so too. And and, yeah. and it, for the first time ever, it seems like the draft actually seems like a fresh start. Yeah. It doesn't seem like, Oh, we're just, we're just going to cycle through some bullshit and then it's not going to mm-hmm. mean anything next week. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. that's exciting. We're going to start doing super shows. Yeah. Why, why do you even bother? Yeah. Why do you even bother? So that's exciting. That, yeah. So, so, and there is the possibility of some people possibly getting quote unquote demoted from the main roster as well, yeah, which, you know, I feel like that has been something people have been saying for a little while now, as some people from the main roster have been going down to NXT, mm-hmm. but it's kind of fresh down there. I mean, it's, I mean, like sometimes you gotta go away. <laughs> sometimes. sometimes you gotta go away. Let me okay. Some point. Look, Baron, Corbin. But, Baron Corbin, great example. Dude wasn't really doing too much. Went down to NXT. It was a hobo. Had a great run. Yeah. And what was the, what are the best runs of his career thus far? You know. And sure then I feel like hmm? I'm sure he's making good money still. Hey, he's making money. He was a right? champion. Doing shit, having a good run as a tag champ with Braun Breaker. Now that that's over, I don't know what he's gonna do. Um. <laughs> Back but like I, I think it's fine because like I think that there's still a lot of interest in NXT. So you're gonna get people who probably weren't doing anything on the main roster mm-hmm. going back down and being like a prominent player on a TV show at the end of right. the day, you know. Which is which and is never a bad thing. Never a bad thing, you know. Get your paycheck. Be on TV. Totally. Get your spots in. Right. All good. 
So I, I think this is going to be a good thing. In the draft. Very cool. Now we got we got to talk about this injury or or supposed injury of of Rhea Ripley. I I'm not going to go on a CM Punk level rant right here, <laughs> okay? Because <clears throat> I I don't really know the situation. Mm. I was kind of taken back by the fact that they said that she was injured because I was like, where did this come from? Right. And they said like, oh, I thought, was, you... I thought that chair, sh- you know, throwing the chair was a little a little stiff, but like, throwing the chair was a little stiff. Like she did take that wall pretty stiff. Mm. So I was like, maybe you know, but also like it's 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 pro wrestling, mm. you know. And like the idea was like because after she hit that wall and went down, like Liv Morgan was beaten on her shoulder. That was the shoulder that was injured. Mm. I'm not saying nobody's actually hurt. I want that. I want that. I don't want. I don't want the clickbait thumbnail. Okay. Kevin uh, Christy saying that I never believe anyone is injured. It's true. I mean, he's a skeptic. Uh, listen, I am a skeptic for my own reasons, but I will say this. Mm. Um, Rhea Ripley is without a doubt one of the top stars. Oh, uh, period. In, <laughs> in the company. In, in, in no, no, anything. No. In wrestling today. Yeah. I fully believe that she is one of the top stars. And when she comes back, whenever she comes back, mm. she will be one of the top stars. It's hard for me to say that she's not injured and they're doing this as just some kind of angle because why like you wouldn't you wouldn't bench Stone Cold when he's at his peak. Right. Right. You know, even yeah. though, you know, there was a whole neck stinger and you know he had to kind of be benched for a little while there. But like you're not gonna take Steve Austin when he's the heavyweight champion at the hottest time in pro wrestling history. He's the hottest star in pro mm-hmm. wrestling at that time. You're not going to put him on the bench. Just like, I don't think that they're going to put Rhea on the bench for no, no reason. Right. But what I think this does allow for is for her to go take a step back. Find her smile. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? She lost her smile. I mean, she wasn't smiling. Um, but I think it gives her the opportunity to take a step back get the rest in Mm. reset let the fans focus on something else give other people the opportunity to maybe step up Mm -hmm. because when she comes back oh she's gonna gonna be the big the biggest baby face it's gonna be insane she's gonna be bigger than cody yeah absolutely and and, potentially and i think that's that's kind of where i'm at too like yes she did probably actually get hurt However, well, I think she actually was hurt because I think her wrist has been wrapped up for like a month. And the thing is, it's like, do you have her get beat and lose the title? Right. Or do you have her, even if it just, you know, is a month, two month gimmick mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Do you have her give up the belt mm-hmm. and then she's got a full program when she comes back yeah. saying I never lost. I'm still the greatest women's champion, whatever. Yeah. And now you've got, you know, fucking white hot baby face Rhea Ripley Mm -hmm. chasing presumably Liv Morgan. Probably. I mean, God damn that. that, That's a main event anywhere in this country. Main event everywhere. (laughs) It had the American Legion at every stadium in this country. Exactly. Main event twice on Tuesdays. Um, I think it was more of a business decision for her to vacate the title than it was out of necessity. Yeah. I'm curious if maybe she is actually injured, but not, but it's not her shoulder. Mm. Because again, like I do recall seeing her with like a wrist wrap for a while. Mm-hmm. I was like, maybe something did happen there, but like, right. I don't want to be like, Oh yeah. She like broke her wrist. Like give it a little bit more sauce, spice it up a little yeah, bit. She might she be injured. faking that dead arm. Yeah. <laughs> but like she injured Liv's shoulder. Liv comes back and injures her shoulder. Mm-hmm. Takes her out of the picture. Liv gets the title. Boom. That's a SummerSlam matchup right there. I like it. I like it I like a lot. It. Yeah. So it's good, good for business. Good for good business. For, yeah. I've, now, I've purchased a ticket. That's all I'm saying. There you go. There you go. Now, sir, this is episode 350 
of this goddamn show. We've been doing this for a yeah. long ass time, folks. Hell yeah. If you're just finding us, welcome. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers out there as well. We've been doing this for a while here, but we are here to celebrate 350 episodes. Uh, Not only right that, mm. but cracking the 500 mm. subscriber milestone. Folks, Huge milestone. Thank you. You everyone. blew it out of the water this past totally. week because listen, before last week's show, we were not at 500 subscribers. No. Right now, we're over 540. So we are boom, killing it. This show is bringing in all the heat and we're sizzling all night. That's so right. Be we're sure about to bring some more of it. Too. Tell people, blow the whistle. That's on right. Us. Be the whistleblowers. <laughs> you just want the blowy folks. Spread the no, spread the word. I mean, well, spread the word. <laughs> yeah, so we're here. Uh, you know, one thing that we've done a few times on this show, which has always been fun, is, you know, we like to play games. You know, we're mm -hmm. like Eugene. And, uh, you know, we like to have fun on this channel, and we like to get you all involved as well. So the other night, I had an idea. I'm like, mm -hmm. since now we are a wrestling podcast. Yeah. Um, I, 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 it just, you know, I'm a big believer in the muses, the muses, the muses. Okay. Uh, and not Jason, um, you know, in, in, in lore, in fiction, in the universe or whatever, I just said that whenever a spark of creativity hits, mm -hmm. you know, we are just essentially receptors of that creativity. You're getting deep and, here, and it, man. And it is the muse who is bringing the idea to us. So, so last night I was, I was, uh, you know, struck by the muse, mm -hmm. as it were, and a new idea came into my head for a game. And we are going to play that here uh, tonight because one thing that I've kind of been on the search for, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a thrifty shopper, as mm -hmm. it were. I love finding old wrestling memorabilia. It's like my favorite thing to search for. And, oh, yeah. You know, it's needle in a haystack. But when you find it, it is it's it is old. like finding treasure. Oh, yeah. So and you spoke of um, last week about how much you spent at the WrestleMania. So the gear started turning in my head. And I said, I wonder how good Kevin Graham is at mm -hmm. pricing old memorabilia. And I said, this is going to be a hell of a show. So, so what I've come be, up with, okay. what I've come up with is I've come up with a game to where I've gone out to the internet. Ooh, I like this. Uh, strictly eBay, just so that you know. Of course. Yep. Yep. And I have found some wacky pieces of mm. either merchandise or memorabilia. Okay. Uh, and I have found the sold listing. The sold. Ooh, okay. I like okay. this. The sold so and and I'm not talking about like main an offer okay. type of thing because like when you go on eBay and you look at sold listings, if it if an offer was made and it was accepted, they don't tell you. They don't really tell you what that accepted offer was for. Yeah. So this is hard, bought and paid for numbers. Okay. That I've gotten shipping and included or shipping is not included. Okay. Because no, because who the fuck knows where it's going to? So. Shipping not included in these prices. So I okay. have I've compiled a list. And so here's how the game is going to work. I'm going to show you the item. And you are going to give me your initial guess as to what the sold listing was for. Okay. If you get it correct within $10, I'll give okay. you $10, you know, within within that. Are we span. doing prices right rules though? No, I'll 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 let you like this is Ooh. not going to be easy. Okay. So, <laughs> this so, is not so. going to be easy. Yeah, so ten ten dollars either way, okay. okay ten dollars either way, okay. I, I could go either way for ten dollars. Exactly, right? I mean, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, man. In this economy, it's fuck, it's fucking me. America. You do a lot for ten dollars. Yeah. Um, so if you do not get it correct within the ten dollars, so you can either say that your the actual price is higher or lower than the number you gave. Okay. 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 So if you if you get it within 10, you get two points. And if you get a higher or lower, you get one point. Okay. And there are 15 items here. Okay. And you have to get 10 points to win. Okay. What do I win? 
fuck i don't know i'll 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 i'll, I'll buy you something i don't know oh so I'll, I'll send i'll send you something neat okay anyway so i got myself a whiteboard uh, oh sh- so we're keep, getting official here you know keep <laughs> track of kevin's points on here so let me just uh, get this uh, this I didn't, I didn't prepare this part folks so that's can, okay Kevin, the man All right, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep a tally All right, for, for Kevin okay. and Graham right here. All right, are you ready, sir? I as uh, ready as I'll ever be. Hey, Fenton. Oh, no apologies, hey, sir. Fenton. You know, I mean, it, bl- a twenty. I mean, some of these items like twenty dollar margin is a huge margin, so we're gonna stick to ten. Okay. 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 You know, I mean, well, I guess ten on each side, so I guess it is a twenty dollar margin. That is true. Yeah. So, Math, folks. I think that's what she was saying. Stay in school, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I didn't. Are you ready for the first item, sir? Yes. So, the first item up comes straight from early '90s oh. WWF. Okay. 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 We are looking at Ooh. the WWF Undertaker foam urn. Oh, urn. Mm. I should know this. I mean, you should know probably a lot of these. Well, but... no, because I I'm pretty sure I've listened to some stuff where somebody recently bought an urn. Okay. Um, uh, foam products from the '90s. Now, where where do you stand on on the like the foam finger, the foam I urn? I okay, you're you're big into foam. I huge, uh, <laughs> huge into the foam. <laughs> it's a thing, you know. I, 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 I you know I got a thing for foam. You know, right. sometimes I just like to you know. I just like the way it feels. Sure. It's a texture know? thing. Yeah, it's a texture thing. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I had the, uh, growing up, I had the foam. Uh, yes, Fenton, it's just me playing, but you're welcome to join in. Um, yeah, please, would, everyone in the chat. Uh, throw yeah, but, but I don't want to be persuaded to some. Okay, all right. Like I, I, um, yeah, I, won't, I won't show, but please, play in, yeah. play in the chat. Uh, had a, Had the foam tomahawk. Oh, okay. Right. Had the foam two by four for Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Mm -hmm. Had a collection of foam fingers, but they weren't necessarily wrestling related. Okay. Um, But I I do appreciate me a good foam product. Okay. Um, All right. Not the inflatable ones because Mm. those eventually pop and they deflate. Um, So, yeah. The foam urn. The foam urn, folks. From the early 90s. Hard to find. Uh, Yeah, not easy. Not easy. Um, catalog exclusive maybe sometimes even a show exclusive. i was I, I would say live event maybe a survivor series maybe a live event exclusive yeah um i'm gonna go this is probably uh, excuse me sir um this is probably something that's not always easy to come by right so it's probably gonna have a higher ticket i value i'm gonna say 350 350 350 okay Let's see here. Uh, you are incorrect, sir. Shit. Okay. Higher or lower? Higher or lower at this point. Higher, higher. or lower than 350? Higher. Higher than 350. Higher. Okay. Let's see here. The actual retail price sold on eBay for the WWF Undertaker Foam Earn was $400. Ah, okay. I, I, I feel like I'm not, you know... Uh, that, that's not bad right okay so we're okay. gonna do a one one point there for kevin graham okay 400 right. bucks that's not bad that's not bad for that not, i mean right off the bat like you got one point if you get one point going forward hey. you're gonna win this game i'll win all right I came, here to, I came here to win what are you doing buddy like do you do you need something are you ready for item number two yes item number two up for sale on the eBay. We are doing a collectible chair Ooh. from the WWF Invasion pay-per-view. Chair and I, I gotta tell you something. I've been I've been looking for a chair lately. Okay. Um, specifically a souvenir chair. And I know that these go for pretty penny sometimes, depending on what show it is. Depending on the show. Now, now to be fair, mm-hmm. that was a dog shit show. <laughs> It was a dog shit show. It was fucking horrible. And it was what, like over 20 years ago, like 22 years ago, something like that. Which I guess like nostalgia. Yeah. You know, know? if you were really into that time period. Sure. 
which I which you know I was. Mm-hmm. But looking back on it, I was like, ooh, I was. Um, the WWF Invasion pay per view souvenir chair. Yeah, I feel like that's chairs usually go for at least a hundred bucks. Mm. I mean, if somebody was looking to get their return on it, considering right, that's a front row t- or at least a floor seat ticket, floor seat ticket. I think it's and only usually, the first few rows, right? You usually got to. I, yeah, I think for the first few rows, it's baked into the cost. However, I believe you can purchase them because I know for like the WrestleMania that I went to, you could purchase them. Oh, like at the superstore like, or something? A la carte. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Which I'm actually bummed I didn't buy one. How many um, at home? Dude, it was in Dallas. I drove. Oh, I thought you were two years ago. No, no, not that. They, they, they didn't have Philly. anyone. No, they didn't have any on sale for the one in Philly. At oh, least okay. not that I drove. Um, Invasion, early 2000s, crappy pay per view, souvenir chair, probably bought from the Thor seat. I'm going to say $250. $250. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. That is incorrect, <laughs> sir. So for one point, higher yes. or lower? Lower. 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 Okay, let's see. For the Invasion Souvenir Chair pay-per-view, wasn't very good. Nope. Somebody paid $560. Shut the fuck up. Why would you do that? $560 for the chair from the Invasion pay-per-view. $560 to sit on Shane and Vince's face. (laughs) Are you sick? Are you insane? What is wrong with you? I get you a chair for 50 bucks. I mean, at the Costco. Right, it's comfortable. Holy cow, for that dog shit? Oh, my God. Crazy, right? That's got to be like a chair collector. Has to be. Has to be. Somebody, Fenton says some of these chairs are going for 2,500 recently. Yeah, but they're probably for good and notable pay-per-views. Exactly, exactly. Like, Like, I don't think they're selling like, Armageddon 06 for 2500 bucks. <laughs> uh Blakely says, uh I love <laughs> they got all their faces during Thanksgiving. Yeah, so we went over to my mother's house, and of course, my, my brother-in-law has a shitload of fucking of these <laughs> chairs. So, like, yeah, we're sitting on the rock's face while carving the turkey. Oh my god. It, that's that's you know, man, I love that. Okay, are you ready for the next item? Yeah, hit me with it. All right, we are looking at a pristine, pristine, pristine copy of the China Playboy autographed by China herself. And it is pristine? It is a pristine, I mean, that's what the listing said, a pristine copy. Oh, Um, my goodness. Um, yeah, Bob, I'm going to go with a 125 on that one. A 125. 125. 125. Okay. Uh, you are incorrect. Oh, on God. That. I hope it's lower. You going lower? I hope it's lower. Okay. Okay. For the autographed XOXO, uh, China, pristine Playboy mm-hmm. edition. Um. Well, first, have you ever seen it? Like, do you have a copy of this? Yeah. No, I don't own any Playboys. Uh, well, ha- did you like look, find like the images on the internet? I I believe I have seen the images. You've yes. seen some images. Like, I I can honestly say I've not seen a single page. Okay. Oh, wait. Of, of, of a of of this Playboy or this a specific Playboy? one? This oh, specific okay. one. Okay. This was always one where I'm just like, when it came out, like they did the thing in the ring with the whole drop. Dr- like I saw it was a big deal. I mean, Eddie really sold the angle. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he, he had did. one okay. job to do, and Eddie, he did a Eddie hell of a job. The hell of the angle. Like, yeah, like, 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 if anything, like that's what I was interested. in. Uh, Fenton was going to say one fifty. Okay, so I said one twenty five. So the actual retail price. You said lower than than one lower, lower than one twenty five. We're looking at seventy bucks. Yeah. 70 okay. Bucks. So that's okay. a point. Right there for the man. It's that two. That two for me. Two for you. 
All right. Let's see here. <laughs> I think Blake just called you out. No, no, he had the nudie beers. The nudie that, beers. That's what he had. He had the nudie beers where you scratch yeah. the label and the clothes come off the ladies. Um, what a time. None of them were scratched, though. No. Like They were just collector's items. It's, a, it's an honorable man. The best. Best. All right, so next up, this is, this is one of my favorites right here. I I I wish I had this. Okay. Okay. We're talking about a goddamn original. Johnny B. Bad. Oh. WCW. Okay. T-shirt. Okay. Okay. Original Johnny B. Bad WCW T-shirt. Probably early '90s. I'd have to guess. I mean, it was Johnny B. Bad, so like he was there for a cup of coffee. Yeah. You know. Um. Can I ask a question? Sure. What size is this? That's a great question. Uh, this is an XL. Ooh, okay. Probably harder to come by. Mm hmm. Um, a Johnny B. Bad. Johnny B. Bad. Can, oh, can. Look, bring it back. Goddamn right, bring it back. Like, I would buy this shirt in a heartbeat if it was at a fucking JC. Oh, I thought you were talking about the nudie beers. Oh, then bring those back too. So, I'm saying the shirt is probably a 93. I'd say you're probably right on that. You're in the ballpark for sure. Um, okay. If I understand the vintage shirt market, mm. this could be anywhere from like 60 to like 200 bucks. Mm. Um, I'm going to say Johnny B. Bad probably doesn't have a big cult following. Um, he, he sure as shit wasn't Sting. I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go on the lower side and say sixty bucks. Sixty bucks, okay. 60 bucks. Take a look here. That is incorrect, sir. Not okay. within the margin. Not within the margin. No. I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna say higher. Higher, okay. Higher. And I hope I'm wrong. For the Johnny B. Bad original WCW teacher. And folks, before I put this out there, just as a disclaimer, this ain't bullshit. Somebody <laughs> really paid this money no. for this fucking t-shirt. No. Folks, we're looking at $637.99. You people are sick. You are psychotic. What? What? You could probably get that same shirt on stash pages for like 20 bucks. 20 bucks, right? Fucking wild. Oh, I mean, it's a good God. shirt. It's a good shirt. It's okay. Yeah. Cause like, listen, I love the early 90s cartoon style mm -hmm. t shirts. Right. right. Those were, those are some of my favorite t shirts. They're super cool. I love the retro aesthetics, but. Six hundred. What are you doing with you? What, what are you not buying for your family? Right. That you can go out and spend six hundred and thirty seven dollars and ninety nine cents for a Johnny B. Bad T-shirt. And and Fenton's right. Like if tell those people, get, like he is a wrestling company, like he could use the money. Uh, and, and Blakely's absolutely right. That, like that's disposable income for you. Like that's, that's the definition. Like if you're buying I hope it's disposable income. I hope it is. I hope there's not some sad sack sitting there going like, I just got paid. And it can either be, you know, groceries it's for the week or Johnny be bad. It was Looks a small like child ramen. who in the early 90s caught a Frisbee. And that was his life defining moment. Like, like, that's what happened. And and he's been he's been saving his pennies. For what? a goddamn Johnny B. Bad t-shirt. What collector? What is the collector? Because, <laughs> okay, listen. I understand that there is a collector's mentality for certain items. And, like, totally. I get that. I understand that. But what is the collector's mentality for a Johnny B. Bad t-shirt to spend over six... To spend over $100 on a Johnny B. Bad t-shirt? What it's is the white collector's shirt. mentality there? It's a white shirt. Like something's gonna happen to it's it. It's gonna get it stained. It's gonna get stained. It's not comfortable. No, that's scratchy material. You know? Yeah. Fucking a. Oh, so, single yeah. stitch. Who gives a? 
<laughs> Get out of my house. Are they going to wear that t-shirt? Probably. I mean, probably. And like, they're okay. going to spill coffee like, on it. There is a retro t-shirt market that I would almost say is close to like the sh- like like people who are shoe fanatics. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, the shoe people. Yeah. The shoe people. There mm-hmm. is a retro t-shirt market similar to that. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Uh so you 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 went higher with that. So you do get the point. Yeah. Right. So so you're at three, sir. You're doing well. You're doing well. Um I don't feel good about it. Next up here, we've got an autographed turnbuckle Ooh. pad by Ooh. Brett the Hitman Hart. J- and I see that's JSA authenticated. Authenticated, sir. Okay. Th- is that an original WWF turnbuckle, though? Uh, you know, I couldn't get the answer to that. I don't think so. So I, it looks like it looks too pristine. It kind of it does look like a reproduction. I was say it's a repro. Right, so so take oh. that into consideration. Oh, but it I is to worry. It is authenticated. It is it is the best there is, the best there was, the best, and he'll tell you. Here's the thing. I saw what some of the Bret Hart autographs are going for at WrestleCon. Mm. Surprisingly affordable. Mm. I don't okay. want to say they weren't that much, but it was surprisingly affordable. And Fenton okay. says it is not a real turnbuckle pad from the WWF. Okay, the, he, <laughs> he's the so, agent. He's gonna know. So essentially what you're paying for is a Bret Hart authenticated autograph. Totally. 100%. These days, I don't think are too difficult to find. Mm, I mean, he's still here. So he he is still here. He's got Mm -hmm. a lot of stuff autographed. Um, But because of the authentication, Mm -hmm. the autograph, Mm -hmm. and the fact that it is, you know, at the end of the day, it is like WWF branding. I'm going to say $105. A hundred and five dollars. Yes. Okay. So for the Brett Hitman Heart autograph turnbuckle pad, that is incorrect, incorrect. sir. Incorrect. Hey, marks. Stop <laughs> spending your money. <laughs> Stop spending money. Save. Save money. Start a family. <laughs> Buy a house. Stop. Because I know it's more. It's going to be more. I, I I don't like that it's more, but it's going to be more. I say that it's more. He's going higher, folks. <laughs> so for the Brett Hitman Heart autograph turnbuckle pad, not much more, but $130. Oh, okay, so you were know, you're, okay, you're very okay. close. You're very close that's, on that one. Okay. I was like, that's not that bad, all things considered. You it's it's, the, it's the, not you great. Do, you do get the one point. It's not you great, but it's not point. bad. <laughs> Uh, and, and Fenton says he can't stop. Like he's trying, he's trying, he's trying to be better. You know what we, you, Fenton, you, if you get a little better each day, brother, more I, I, I'm, I'm, I've been working on cutting myself off. Mm. Okay. So we're on to our next item. This one is a little more, I think this one's going to be difficult. Okay. Okay. Cause there's, there's a little asterisk next oh. to this one. Okay. Okay. All right, and w- what we're ta- what we're bringing to the table here, folks, is we are bringing an autographed sting bat, Ooh. but it's from TNA. Oh, TNA Louisville Slugger powerized, mm-hmm. and it specifically says TNA Wrestling. This, on okay, that I will say that this is actually a pretty cool piece. Mm. This is pretty cool. Um, let's see, Sting still around? He's still here. Still doing autograph signings, still yep. doing, you know, still doing the cons. He's at the con circuit. So TNA. Would anybody pay more because it was a TNA product? I The name TNA alone, mm-hmm. I would say no. But that's just that's just, my, you know, my personal. Hey, man, well, certain people go for certain collections. That's very true. Well, I mean, some people like Jeff Jarrett. I don't get it. It's cool to me when I met him. Pretty cool guy. Um, Sting. Oh, uh, oh, wait. Okay, hold Fenton, on. Okay, Fenton says he doesn't sign bats often. That's something to consider. That is okay. something to consider. Something tells me, though, that this was a thing that TNA did. 
like they got a bunch of belt or a bunch of bats Mm -hmm. Sting signed them and then they were used for like a tna shop exclusive or like a show exclusive or like a charity thing or Or like a charity thing something tells me that somebody didn't go out and just have a louisville slugger branded (laughs) with tna on it yeah um so i feel like this is definitely something that tna sponsored right um given that it's sting it's a bat the tna branding i'm going to say two hundred dollars two hundred dollars west deal fan knows about this product he, he knows does. What he does is. but i'm gonna say 200 bucks 200 bucks okay do you get some beanie babies with the bat does that come you with a, done with a, a 10 mint gem <laughs> Okay, so you said two hundred. in some baseball cards. You said two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. That is incorrect, sir. Not within the span. See, Fenton guessed two fifty. I was going to guess higher. You can guess higher. I was going to guess high. Okay, so Fenton Fenton, because of the scarcity of the product, I'm going to guess. It's more of a collector's item. So more of a collector's item. Probably not a lot of these on the market. Not a lot. Okay, so again, we are talking about the TNA signed Sting autograph bat. Mm -hmm. The actual sold listing on ebay was for four hundred dollars oh so okay. quite a bit higher okay that and is then, somebody with a collection as somebody with a collection and fo- and sir you 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 did guess higher so you are you're, you're halfway you got you, got um, life. you, you know got life. i'm not i'm not life. doing the best you're not doing the worst though i'm not doing the worst there's you, there you is have that. more than five to go yeah. So as long as you get, you know, something right, something you'll, right. You'll, you'll, you'll be doing okay. I want to get one of the prices, though. I want to be within 10. Right. Like, you like, 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 I want at least one. Yeah. yeah. I'm just looking for a miracle, man. Just one, man. Just one for a miracle. It's fun. Well, this might be your miracle because this is right up your alley. If, oh, if you okay. don't get this, I'm going to be disappointed. Okay. Be disappointed too. Because okay. we are talking about the goddamn <sighs> Macho Man Randy Savage oh. Slim Jim display. This ah oh man, this is you send me almost weekly pictures of yourself with the Slim Jim with Macho Man on it. Like it's it's getting concerning. It is. They're, they're very spicy. You know, I I offered my Slim Jim to my brother, and he was like, "You don't." I was like, "I don't want your meat stick." No, I'm like, but it's a Slim Jim. He's yeah, like, "I still don't want." want it. I'm like, "But it's got Macho Man on it." He's like, "It right. doesn't help." Mm-hmm. Um, the match. Can you can you bring that back up? Can oh, of course, my pleasure. Yeah. Okay. So wait display so like what is this exactly essentially think of like a cookie jar situation but with no top and it just holds your meat sticks okay i love that um (laughs) so is this like a vinyl uh if i had to guess if i was a guessing man right and this is this yeah some type of vinyl or rubber type of product i would imagine um this Feels, I've never seen it before, though. I've never seen this before either, but this feels WCW era. Totally. Yes. Mm, Slim Jim. I mean, macho, like legit macho Slim Jim stuff. Definitely a specific collection. Yes. Definitely a specific collector. Mm-hmm. Maybe not for everybody. Mm-hmm. But macho man stuff. Like, Hard to find macho stuff could be. Blakely says they had him at Hess. What? Excuse me? Ex- Hess was my gas station. You're telling me they had these and I never got one? It feels betrayed. I am. <laughs> Sir. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to guess 80 bucks. 80 bucks for the Macho Man Slim Jim display. Yeah. You are incorrect, sir. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, I should have. I should have. Mm. He's realizing, folks. Eighty bucks. A- Eighty was a bad guess. <laughs> bad guess. Because I, I truly feel like this could go either way. Uh huh. Because it's like shit. I got a fucking box with his face on it for mm-hmm. free. I'm walking out with it. Very true. Just took it. Well, Blakely says they had him in Florida. Blakely, you didn't keep one. What are you doing? What, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I mean, he was probably he was probably around here. Yeah, like, like, you know, he lived. Yeah, he was there. a. I think he was a Pensacola guy. Okay, Pensacola is nice. Um, 
Higher or lower? Than $80. <sighs> higher? Higher. He's going higher. higher. Okay. All right. Is just because of the form factor and the design and the display piece, please be higher. We are yeah. talking the Macho Man Randy Savage Slim Jim display, apparently available only at Hess, uh, was sold on eBay for $175. $175. Okay. Look at I, that. I, you may have paid a little bit too much, but okay. I mean, and that's the thing, folks. I'm not saying that the, these people got a bargain. I'm saying they paid real money. This is what people paid. Right. So, sir, you are over the halfway mark. You're at, yeah. you're at six points. I feel here. Feel look good. At, look at that. Look at that. So, I, I would I would like to be a little bit closer to right. uh, to my guess, but you know, take what we get. Right. Exactly. All right. Coming down next. Now, this is another one I wish that I had like today because i okay. would wear this all the time it's another clothing article sir mm -hmm. we are talking about the 1992 Yo. wwf crush print t-shirt oh yeah brother mm -hmm. these t-shirts fucking rule these are dope these are the dopest shirts ever i always wanted a shirt like this and mm -hmm. i know like they're kind of selling them right now in wwe shop but it's it's, it's ripple junction and they make shit t-shirts Oh, well, um, there you go. quality's not there, folks. Quality's not there for him. Yeah, bought a fucking smoking skull T-shirt and it came out all cockeyed and small. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? Um, crush, ninety two, ninety two. Look at that. I'm okay. Does it say what size? Uh, let me see if I can get that information. It is large. Well, it's a, a large size, size large yes that's a sought after size mm -hmm. um, that that's my size oh i could rock this right now dude um, it, it's dope oh okay i'm I'm gonna throw it out there all i'm fenton saying people are spending it's stupid going, money it, it, dude, it's the retro t-shirt market it is i'm gonna throw this out there okay okay i'm gonna say 240 240 wow okay yeah. let's see here for the crush print t-shirt from 1992 that is incorrect sir okay somebody spent over 600 dollars for a fucking johnny b bad t-shirt so if somebody paid under 240 for this i'm gonna be very upset so it better be higher he's going higher you going higher officially going higher okay so again folks these are sold ass fucking listings yeah. on ebay okay can I take uh, a second guess? Uh, okay. It, 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 uh, this uh, won't count. Like, I won't take a point for this. Well, hold on. First off, uh, Fenton uh, is guessing 350. He's guessing 350. Okay. My second guess, I'm going to say 500. 500. Well, I'm guessing higher than the 240. Okay. Okay. Uh, like, like, that is my guess for that. Just for funsies, I'm guessing. Just for funsies. Just for funsies. But you're still going higher. Still going mm -hmm. higher than 240. Okay. So let's pull it up here, folks, for the Crush Print T-shirt, an actual real-life sold listing for this T-shirt. We are talking $999 okay. for that shirt. Whew, some of y'all got some money to spend. Ain't me. And I hope you ain't got kids. <laughs> but that, sir, puts you at seven. Okay. You are so close. You are yeah. so close. I wish I, I may, might have should have made this harder. I guess I don't you know. Should have made this hard. I mean, it, it already is kind of hard. But yeah, like, I mean, it's know, not easy. Guess, higher or lower kind of helps me out a little bit. Now this one, this one's a little bit different from what we've been doing. Okay, this yeah. is this is more of a of a childhood situation for us. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, and in my opinion, it was an, a complete game changer for the industry. Okay. Okay. We are talking about a brand new sealed. Oh. In package, oh. not opened. Okay. Titan Tron. I knew it was gonna be this playset. Oh man, I had this. I mean, so did I. I had this. We, we, I, we, were, we were lucky ass kids. It sucked, but I fucking loved oh, it. Oh, it's fucking horrible. I this mean, I Titan hated says it. This. I hated the Titan Tron figures. The Titan Tron figures oh, they're horrible. Were so bad, especially that like first generation of them. Or like yeah. you couldn't bend the arms, like they they just sucked. They were um, terrible. But still, they wanted to give you that experience. And and the thing it. that the thing that like really bummed me out 
was like they had like four theme songs programmed into the fucking thing. So like yeah, yeah. So like some like I think it was like goddamn like hardcore Holly was coming out to the brood music. And yeah, you're like, hey, because they just because well, like this was also the time frame where like Jack sort of stopped giving a shit. Right. Because right. like at the tail end of the WWE contract that they had with them, like they were making dog shit figures. Mm-hmm. Um the bone crunchers while they had their problems at launch, eventually became one of the best. Oh, yeah. Series of figures. Um, but unfortunately, my Shawn Michaels leg fell off. Like, and that, that was first run dude, figure. I had a shot, like, we had a Shawn Michaels leg that fell off. Um, uh, my glow in the dark Undertaker, I had to buy five. <laughs> I, I had to buy it and return it at least four times That's to get wild. one where the arm didn't fall off. Right. Yeah. Um, my Vader's head fell off. Like they were not assembled great. No. Uh, but for a sealed Titan Tron Titan Tron playset. Play yeah. What are we talking? We come came with the Vince figure. Came with the Vince figure, which, <laughs> ooh, which I don't know if that doesn't age value well. Value now or what? Um mm-hmm. th- there is a boom right now for buying up retro figures. Yep. Um, if this was purchased within the last few months, sealed. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say I'm going to say 200. 200. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is incorrect. Fucking know it. Um, I hope it's lower. He's going lower. He's going lower. It's going lower. The All tire. Right. I, I, I hope it's lower. You, it's he's hoping for lower. Yeah. I'm for, guessing around like maybe the 150 range. For the American people, he's hoping lower. So for yeah. the WWF sealed brand new Titan Tron playset. We're talking one hundred and thirty dollars. Thirty. Okay. Okay. It's under one fifty, which is kind of where I was thinking. Yep. So. Okay. Sir, you only need two more. You only need two more. Two more for a dream. That's all I need. And and we're coming up on on some of some strange items. Okay. okay. Uh, this one here I didn't know existed until I did some research. For mm-hmm. this game, and God damn it, I want it. Okay. We're talking about the official WWF <sighs> NASCAR racing jacket. Attitude. Attitude. Everybody had a fucking racing team in the 90s for some reason. Well, you know, like I assume because NASCAR wasn't that popular yet. Like it was on the rise, but it wasn't there yet. So like the sponsorship was probably reasonable. Whoa, time out to get Patrick Fenton. Oh, shit. Says he had this jacket. You have you still have it? Fenton, if you still you have, have it, it, we need to know because we I'm about to break your heart. Yeah. If uh, if you don't have it anymore. Um, And Fenton, if you know how much was spent on that jacket, let me know, because I feel like it's much higher now. However, it should not be that high. He still has the jacket, folks. That's why he's the agent. That's why he's the agent. God Patrick, damn. I want pictures. I want pictures of the jacket. That's right. Um, God damn. A NASCAR WWF Attitude Racing jacket. Mm-hmm. Uh, if this is more than 200 bucks, I'm going to be concerned. <laughs> But something tells me it is. I'm going to shoot high for this one. I'm going to go 400. 400. Okay. 400 dollars for the NASCAR racing jacket. Let's see here, that is incorrect, sir. Fuck. Please be less. Please be less than a goddamn Johnny B. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. All right. Well, the actual sold listing. Actual sold listing for the WWF racing jacket, folks. We are going five bills for it. Oh, I mean, I said four, and you said four. Ah, man. Yep. So, so you don't get that one. Johnny B. Bad still costs more than that. Fucking Fucking A, dude. Like, what's up with Johnny B. Bad? Is the sec what the second highest ticket so Um, far? So far, only to only be only to be topped by the crusher, Icona crush, (laughs) which you know what makes sense because in in a way, crush rule. Yeah, yeah. He rules. A hell of a gimmick. All right, 
Here we go. This one, I think, is gonna is gonna cause some discussion. Mm. Okay. Okay. We are talking about another autographed item. So, like, right there, that throws a, a wild card into it. Yeah. But we are talking about an autographed Tory Wilson trading Ooh. card. And is that, okay, authentic autograph with a, okay, so that's a cut of the mat, the canvas? Presumably. Presumably. Mm-hmm. Which I imagine they just go around, like, they just cut strips off of old, old canvas. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, there's no way to like the fucking the gimmick where they're giving you like the mat from WrestleMania 12 in the yeah. black thing, like or it's like here is a superstar worn T-shirt, and they're literally like, okay, here, put this on real quick. Okay, you got it on. Okay, now take it off. Right, exactly. Yeah. Although Rhea Ripley licked and signed a napkin, mm. and then they encased it in enamel. And it sold for like 350 bucks. Good for her. Like that. Like, good for her. You know what? Selling spit. But like the ethical way. <laughs> um, okay. So a Tory Wilson. That's WWF era. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Wait, hang on. Congratulations. Off the mat card. You just received. Contains a piece of official WWF ring mat. It was personally autographed by Tori Wilson. So it's certified. This is 2002. Zoom. These hits might still might go for a, a bit. Mm. Um, trading cards are big. People like the trading card game is insane. Mm-hmm. Authenticated, signed, 2002 WWF branding. I'm going to say $115. $115. Okay. For the autographed Tori Wilson card, that is incorrect, sir. Let's say lower. Lower. Okay. He is going lower. You're very quick on that lower. Uh, for the autographed Tori Wilson card, somebody sold it for $58. Oh. <laughs> okay. I I I I overshot on that bit. one. A little bit. You know what? I at the end, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so you did say lower though. Lower. Uh, so you do get the point. So you sir, are one point away from winning this game. Okay. Oof. And this what this next item might be it might be my favorite item that I'm okay. gonna bring up here. Because it's so interesting. It's so interesting to me. We are talking about a ticket stub. Ooh. From WrestleMania 12. Oh. And as you can see, it is a well-worn yes. ticket stub from WrestleMania 12. Okay. Can I ask a few questions? Sure. How long ago was this sold? This was sold within the past three months. Okay. That's important to know because... A lot of people now have been getting their ticket subs authenticated mm. and graded. Okay. So the fact that this isn't graded. Correct. It is not graded. I feel like drops doesn't necessarily, it, it doesn't add more value, I'll say. Mm-hmm. It is faded. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. It was in somebody's pocket. It was in somebody's in pocket. Name. And then they were pro- it was probably in their wallet for a little while. Mm-hmm. Um. WrestleMania 12. Looks like they were in like section 208 or something something like that. So not great dates, you know. Um, It looks like they might be in like the box section, seat three. That's close to an aisle. Mm -hmm. WrestleMania 12. Let's see. Iron Man match. Then you had the the, the backlot brawl. Backlot brawl. That fucking terrible fucking six man tag. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was it like Furnace and LaFond? Was that were they in that? It was one like or? it was like fucking Vader and Mick Foley and like somebody oh, else. Oh yeah, it's it dog fucking shit. awful. Remember when WrestleMania matches sucked most of the time? <laughs> but the main was the, the main draw. Was like the draw. Yeah. Um I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 75 bucks. 75 bucks, okay. 75 bucks. 
All right, let me check here. For the WrestleMania 12 ticket stub, that is incorrect. Higher? It's going higher. Higher? So this is for the game. This is for the game? Oh, this is for man. the game. <laughs> ah, okay. Higher? Maybe higher? Higher? Please go higher. higher. Okay. WrestleMania 12 ticket stub. Actual sold listing on eBay. Not best offer. Now, none of that bullshit. Someone actually paid $5,000 for a ticket stub to an event they probably did not go to. You're sick. <laughs> You're absolutely sick. What is wrong with you? Why would you spend that much money on a fucking ratty ticket stub with faded ink? That's probably been sitting in some dude's ass wallet for 30 years. What is wrong with you? You could do so many things. with. You could put a down payment on a house for $5,000. Okay? You could raise a newborn to a certain point in time. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had a newborn. I, 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 I think they... They, they they cost more than five. It goes grand. quick. It goes. It, quick. it would be a great. It would be a great down payment on a newborn. Okay, <laughs> you're sick. You have a problem. Holy shit! Well, congratulations, sir. You won. You won the yeah! game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had we have more items. Uh, I don't know if you want to go through them. Or I not. would love. I would love. To I see think this is a blast. I don't know yeah. if you guys enjoy this as as well. Uh, Fenton says, uh, I love Shawn Michaels. So what do you want, Kevin? <laughs> he, he achieved his boyhood dream. Like you're buying a dream, essentially, is what's happening with, with that. You're buying, you're buying something. All right, let's, uh, let's go through these other ones that I, I pulled yeah. for the show here. Uh, we're talking about an original WrestleMania 3 poster. Original? Original, 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 original like no bullshit. I mean, not that I was able to find if that's not going for five grand. I don't know what the fuck we're doing here. Uh, OK, so you're going five grand. That is incorrect. Higher. Higher than five Higher. grand. Yeah. The actual sold listing for an original WrestleMania three poster on eBay. Three hundred eighty one dollars. No, no. You're telling me that Johnny B motherfucking bad had a T-shirt that went for almost double <laughs> the price of a legit original WrestleMania three poster. Are you serious? You people, what is wrong with you? What are you doing with your lives? I love this show. This is the greatest idea I've ever had. Oh my <laughs> god! That's like one of the most pivotal moments in the history of our sport. Oh fuck! And you me. pay more for Johnny B. Bad? I hate you. Oh man! Oh, okay, next up, we've got. A magazine, Hulk Hogan on Hot Bike. Magazine. I don't know at this point, man. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> fucking 175. <laughs> okay, 175 for the, the Hulkster on the Hot Bike. That is incorrect. It's going to be like. Yeah, it's gonna be like eight bucks, like Fenton said. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so mag. I mean, the magazine market may not be what, he, what it used I'm to gonna, be. Right? I'm gonna say it's probably clocks in around like. God, if anybody's buying fucking this magazine for more than eighty bucks, you're you're dumb. But you're going lower. Go oh, lower. Here. Okay. For fuck's you, sake, be lower. You would have been right. It's forty dollars. Right. Forty, 40 bucks is a good price for the Hulkster. For the Hogan uh, Hog, you, you, great <laughs> price. Good, good, good for you. Now this is one childhood me. Oh, 
would would die for 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 what I'm about to show you. Okay. Right. This was actually something I saw at a house show once. It's mm. too expensive for from for my old man to buy it for me. Yeah. But we're talking about f- folks, I hope you like your boy toys. Because we're talking Ooh. about a Shawn Michaels heart glasses and male stripper cap. Male stripper cap. These were yeah. Um hmm. I could see this going for more than a hundred. Going for more than a hundred. I'm gonna guess a hundred. You can guess flat flat hundred. Flat hundred. Flat hundred. Okay. For the uh Shawn Michaels memorabilia, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Is it higher? He's going higher. Okay. It's like the complete set. Although it doesn't Oh shit. Fenton. He has the hat. He has the hat. Fenton, I want a picture of you wearing the racing jacket (laughs) and the Shawn Michaels hat. You got yeah, and, and whatever all the random fucking merch you've got. Exactly. Yeah. So a sold listing on eBay uh for the Shawn Michaels hat and glasses. We are talking about from 1996. $51. Okay. That's respectable. That, that seems respectable. reasonable. That's right? respectable for that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was uh that was what I had here. Um now I did you know, as as a man who's played a lot of games with you, right? Yeah. You know, I, uh, oh, that's a shame. It says his head's too. Well, yeah, it's made for a 12 year old. <laughs> it was made for children. Well, put it on. Put it on anyway. Just I want to sit on top. I want to see the I want to see the photo. Yeah. Um, as a man who's played a lot of games with you, I came up with a bonus question in case you oh. can succeed. <laughs> OK, I want to hear the bonus question. So I came up with this one. Um, so you'll have to guess the price. Uh, this is a an actual eBay listing. Okay, this is going to be a bonus round. Okay, for a souvenir cup from the Royal Rumble. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you piece of shit. (laughs) (laughs) Um, okay. Um, oh, I'm real, trying to real, remember how much I paid for my. I think my souvenir cup was like ten. Uh, was like apparently, 10. the hat didn't fit Fenton when he was twelve. No. So, and yes, Sorry. Blakely, it was in fact a male stripper hat for children. Um, I'm gonna go with thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars on the day of ease. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. That is incorrect. Incorrect. And, I'm, and it's not within ten bucks. It is not within ten dollars. Twenty? Was it lower? Are you Tell me this was higher. I'm guessing lower. You guessing, guessing lower. lower than thirty five dollars? Lower than thirty five dollars. Okay. Yeah. For uh, let's see here. Oh, oh. Uh, where were these cups at? Th- these were the ones at the souvenir stand or the, at the at the at the the food kiosk. That Kevin had to had to belittle a woman who was trying to scam him out of uh, a, a regular Tampa Bay mm. uh, cup, but these were around. We saw people with these cups, and this was what yeah. he was after. In fact, so right now on eBay, this just sold this week. Okay, for this cup, it could be yours. You could redeem yourself on eBay. For fifteen dollars. Okay, that's that. That is respectable. Yeah. Fifty. Okay, because I my thought process here was, if you're in the stadium mm-hmm. and you're getting yourself a drink, and right? You're getting that souvenir cup. Sure. You're probably you're probably paying around fifteen to twenty bucks. Totally. So if you're gonna sell it on eBay, I'd say at least. You want to get your money back. 20, you know? 20 bucks, get your money back, f- plus $5 in shipping. The $5 in shipping kind of offsets the, you know, the eBay fee. So you get total. around 20 bucks total, 15 bucks. So, but, you know, okay. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. There's, there is, uh, is, is no holds bargains. Uh, so if you like, I mean, I had a blast. I thought this was great. A, this is my, my blood pressure. I feel. Oh, oh well, so Fenton right. says there's one up there right now, sixteen plus five dollars shipping. So there you go. There you go. Bucks. Okay, well, how about that? 
So I think this was wonderful. I this want is, to do this again. This, this is this, been a thing. This is this has been fantastic. If you yeah. like what you've seen here tonight, be sure to follow us on Facebook. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to Brain mm -hmm. Direct TV. And for God's sakes, everyone, get yourself a goddamn t-shirt. Buy a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. We got all sorts up Great. there. We got this logo, last year's logo. We've got Christmas shirts. Mm -hmm. We've got shirts that are just specific to our specials, things like that. And soon to come, folks, we've been talking about this for a minute. You may see a re-release of an old shirt that you may only been able to find at a local wrestling merchandise hmm. booth. Maybe a couple. There might be. If I can find my old design files. A Jason Axe or Kevin Graham hmm. pro wrestling t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, coming to this, Fenton says he wants to do this again. I mean, he wants to, what what a hell of a time! We can we can do it again a few months from now, maybe during a hot shopping season. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? But but be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to tune in each and every Wednesday mm -hmm. for the best goddamn show on the internet. And tell your friends, mm. okay? Listen, what well, we're doing great right now. We're getting this. Mm -hmm. We're getting the people getting their eyes on it. We're, we're, we're getting great subs. Thank you to everybody who's been subscribing and watching our content. Love it. Fine. But like, hey, you know, we got all this kind of, like, go back and watch the content. Listen, we, we, we got to boost those numbers, okay? Totally. Numbers are too low, okay? We, gotta, we still got to boost those watch numbers. So, like, I'm not begging. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. like, check it out. Go through. See what you like. You know, we got a lot mm -hmm. of variety, a lot of different content, and then let us know what you like engage with it and then we'll probably do more of that content yeah the agent know? says he needs some kevin shirts he's already got all mine so like what the fuck i mean i was selling them for a minute <laughs> <laughs> i was not good about selling merch i should have been yeah, we all should have been better as a business folks you know you gotta, gotta make some money yeah but yeah go back and watch the archives as well yes and let us know what you think of this show but for this week I'm Jason X. I'm Kevin Graham. And this has been your show. Peace.